What do you say we get back to what we do best on this channel? A little electric football. I've got the Packers and the Falcons set up here. The Falcons currently possess the ball. It's third and 15. This is going to be a pass play. I'm set up in a uh, kind of a wacky trips left here. So we've got all the defensive backs on man coverage here. I do have, well, that is a middle linebacker acting as a safety and a free safety behind him. Uh, otherwise, this is defo going to be a pass play, but we're going to, I like to do my audibles here, so we'll go, go ahead and start with that. Uh, this is just a downfield pass. I've got some routes in mind, but uh, it's going to be up to the uh, defensive backs whether I'm able to execute any of those routes, okay? So, I'm going to put the uh, tight end in motion. And now he's over here facing right off against a linebacker that's going to have to uh, cover him because all the defensive backs are, are over here. Of course, now this tackle is free to try to make a play on the um, uh, quarterback. And the quarterback is also going to drop back a shotgun. So we'll make him stationary. I think we'll also make the two safeties, or the middle linebacker and the free safety, stationary. Make sure he's behind center here. There we go. I do want to point out I didn't run any of these bases through warm-ups. Just want to see what happens. Days of having time for that are long gone. Uh, come on, I can do better than that. There we go. And how's the scheme? Uh, looks like I need to do this to make this a legal formation. So, yep, we've got seven on the line now. No foul. All right. Uh, Green Bay knows it's going to be a pass play, obviously, because it's empty backfield with uh, trips left over here. So snap. Okay. I'm going to, and it's a shame because I've got some seams here. Uh, and it looks like this linebacker is going to make a play. Uh, let's keep him over like so. Okay. Man coverage from all defensive backs. Gonna flip them all around and head downfield. We'll see if there's any separation or any uh, mismatches. Meanwhile, the safety's not doing anything yet. Okay. Three. Oh, now the quarterback must scramble because there is nothing. There is absolutely nothing. So. Good coverage over here, but the linebacker got through. The quarterback will have to just scramble. Linebacker is chasing him. We're hoping he doesn't catch up with it. And mm, excellent coverage here from number 12 on the Packers. Uh, he's just going to keep doing what he's doing. Uh, 33 is going to start his route. He's covered. 25 is going to start his route, but he's extremely covered. I think 15 isn't even going to go anywhere. Um, tight end is loose. He's a threat, so the linebacker will stick with him like so. And 11 is going to head out to the sideline. needs to follow this uh, and we've got to put number uh, 87 back this way or he'll uh, cause a, an eligible receiver downfield. It would be sweet if he blocks the uh, linebacker. That would be excellent. Alright. I think we're set up. The quarterback cannot afford to approach the sideline because it's a foot race to, to avoid being sacked. So here comes a crucial scramble. <laughs> Yeah, he's all right, but now he must throw it. He is under defensive pressure, and it looks like number, uh, gosh, would be 30. Well, let's move, let's position all the offensive players before we make any choices on where to throw this ball. Okay. Pocket sort of collapsed here. We can uh, afford to take the uh, free safety loose now, and... The middle linebacker, pivot him this way. Oh, 
we've got some stuff going on here. Uh, I could set up a pass interference play, a pass interference call right here, draw a foul, forcing number 80 to do this. Uh, 58's covered. Mmm. Uh, this isn't looking good. So this is going to be a, a very difficult pass, and 33 is not in position to catch a pass, which now he is, maybe. But here we go. Uh, this is going to be a, a tough choice for the Falcons here. So, obviously, we'll be using defensive pressure sticks here. Here's your quarterback. Uh, white, white. Okay, that's going to be a long pass. That might actually be the safest course of action right here because... Uh, great defense by Green Bay. 33. It's going to be a foot race to see if 33 can grab this. It's going to be tough. And this may not even work. Nope. He is going to remain in bounds, but this might get picked off. Or that he might draw a pass interference foul. We'll just have to see. Oh, that's a long pass right there, Chappie. And this base actually tends to drift to the right. So I'm going to have to angle the ball to the right. And it... That could be either... That could be an excellent... Completion or an interception. And we'll just have to see what transpires here. So, number 33 is the intended receiver. Number one for the Packers may intercept. Here we go. Oh, that was pass interference. That was definitely uh, within one base width. Uh, before, uh, not or outside one base width. So we'll probably give them the ball there at the... Uh, 40 or the 37. Let's let the pay let the play pay out and see if he ends up catching this. No, he missed it. Okay. Yeah, we'll call that pass interference on number one. So that will move the chains right here to the uh, third. We'll say the 38. Nah, we'll say the 37 yard line. First down, Atlanta. Woo! That was a. Uh, you got to be careful. It was a tempting. It was a very tempting uh, target to uh, to angle that way. But that's how, you use it. if you're using passing sticks, if you're using this multi-stop system, if you're, uh, if you're playing solitaire, that's how you can create a, uh, a defensive pass interference foul. Make them trip over you. Uh, you know, make, it, make a ludicrous pass that uh, w would be crazy to throw if you, if you, if, from, from such a far distance. And uh, it paid off this time. That was definitely pass interference. He, he moved him. He knocked him out of the way. And it was all before one base width distance. I mean, you could see the base width distance for the ball after he turned. So that was clearly happened before all that. So I'm very confident in calling a, a pass interference penalty. Now, at this point, uh, the Packers coach could throw a challenge flag and we could start rolling dice if we weren't confident that was pass interference. And uh, I would uh, roll a... Ability checks for the, probably a contested ability check for the uh, defensive back stat on the uh, uh, Packers and the uh, wide receiver stat on uh, the Falcons. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, that was, that was clear pass interference right before he got it. And uh, we move the chains and we take another shot at the end zone. Next time, I think we'll allow the uh, uh, Packers to... Uh, to, to lob a downfield pass. We've done the short pass, and we've found out it's extremely effective if the defense isn't ready for it. And we've done some medium yardage passes. Now I'm, I'm all about the long bombs. I don't think I'll try a Hail Mary yet. I remember, I'm still reviewing the rule book uh, since it's been over a year since I formally played. Well, of course, that's hard to say now. It's been a few months now, but since I've been, been back in it. But I'm still, you know, next time, the next chapter and the EFHO rulebook is punting, but I want one more uh, downfield pass. As much practice as I passing is the most difficult thing to do uh, with passing sticks in electric football. Now, if you're good with the with the triple threat quarterback or your uh, third party passing quarterback of choice, then it's passing is a breeze. But uh, with passing sticks, especially with that defensive pressure, and I'm glad that happened. I'm glad the uh, uh, the uh, 
linebacker got through to put that pressure on and make it even more challenging, more difficult. Had that been no defensive pressure, I think he would have caught the pass. And uh, that, that might have still been a, a defensive or a, a pass interference penalty, but we would have probably declined it because, you know, if we caught the pass right there, that's the exact same yardage anyway. So uh, that was a good example. Uh, I, I like it when I just turn the camera on and, and uh, a, a teachable moment happens. Uh, that doesn't always occur. And sometimes I, I film these and it's it's such a busted play that it's no point in even uh, uh, uploading it. But, you know, busted plays are a part of this too, pal. So you're just going to have to accept that. Uh, I'm going to give the uh, uh, Green Bay a shot at a downfield pass, maybe another long bomb, and, and we'll see what happens. Okay, thanks for watching, pals. I'll uh, hopefully get some more electric football content out real soon. Okay, take care.